Hello everybody, myself Harshita Chaudhary and I am a student of Impact Paramedical and Health Institute. First of all, I want to wish you all a very happy radiography day from me and my friends. And today we are going to give you a beautiful presentation on this day. So do watch it and thank you for your love and patience. World Radiography Day is celebrated on 8 November each year. The date marks the anniversary of discovery of X-radiation by Sir William Ronchen in 1895. Radiographer worldwide can use this day to promote radiography as a career opportunity and as a vital contribution in modern healthcare. Also, it is a great opportunity to generate a public awareness about the radiation therapy and about the X-radiation. The International Society of Radiographers and Radiologist Technologists has been celebrated 8 November as a World Radiography Day since 2007 and in India, the Radiographer Association of Madhya Pradesh in, in India has been celebrated the World Radiography Day since 1966 and this theme was raised by Mr. Shivakar. Radiology is the field in which there are so many modalities and each modality is different from one another. So how the radiology come into existence and what is the story behind the discovery of X radiations? So for this beautiful presentation, I would like to call Gauri and Priya. A warm and charming good morning to you all. Today is World Radiology Day. So we all are here to celebrate it. I am Priya Bhardwaj. I am pursuing my Bachelor in Radiology and Imaging Technology from Impact Paramedical and Health Institute. Hi, I am Gauri Prasad, pursuing Bachelor's in Radiology and Imaging Technology from Impact Paramedical and Health Institute. Today, we both are here to tell you the story behind how X-rays are discovered. So, let's have a look. Willem Conard Royton, the father of radiology, discovered the X-ray. He was a German physicist. It happened long back in 1895 when Royton was playing with a crook soup. A crook tube is a cathode ray tube which consists of a cathode and an anode and is connected to a power supply. He wanted to see how the radiation is coming from the crook tube is affected by the light that incident on a drop outside. So he covered the crook tube with a black opaque box and turned off all the light. Suddenly he found a glow somewhere in the room. He investigated and found that the glow is coming from a barium platinum cyanide photographic plate. Also, he found that the glow comes from the crook soup and this radiation is actually passing through the opaque blackboard. He also found that the radiation is not visible. Next, he tried other things. He placed the paper between the crook tube and barium platino cyanide. Then, he observed these rays passed from the paper. He kept dense material like key. Then he observed the shadow of key. He also placed his hand and observed the shadow of bones. Then he called his wife and told about the mysterious event. He was performed the first radiograph of his wife's hand. So Ronjan named this mysterious radiation X-ray. Ronjan refused to take out patents related to his discovery of X-ray. In 1901, Rontgen was awarded the first Nobel Prize in Physics. Rontgen died at Munich on February 10, 1923. So, this is all about the discovery of the X-rays. Thank you. Hello everyone. My name is Devan Akbar from Radiology 3rd Sam. Today I am going to tell you about X-ray. X-ray are the type of radiation called electromagnetic waves. X-ray imaging create picture of inside of our body. This imaging shows the part of our body in a different shades of black and white. This is because different tissues absorb different amount of radiation. Calcium in bones absorb X-ray the most so bones look white. Fat and other soft tissues absorb less and look grey. Air absorb the least so lungs look black. The most familiar use of X-ray is checking for fractures but X-ray are, uh, are also used in other ways for example chest X-ray can spot pneumonia mammograph use <coughs> X-ray to look for breast cancers. 
when you have you have an x-ray you may wear lead apron to protect certain part of your body the amount of radiation you get from an x-ray is small for example the chest x-ray give out the radiation dose similar to the amount of radiation you are naturally exposed from the and for from the environment over 10 days Hello everyone, my name is Isha Alam and I am doing BSc Radiology in Impact Paramedical and Health Institute. So today I am going to tell you about the lead apron. So that's how the lead apron looks like. So lead apron is very important part in the field of radiology. Lead apron is weared by the radiologists, radiographers and radiation workers during the exposure of radiation to protect themselves from the harmful radiations coming from x-rays and all. So lead apron is basically made up of rubber from the outside and from inside it is made up of lead. So the atomic number of lead metal is very high so that it can easily absorb those harmful radiations which are coming during the exposure of radiation in the x-rays room and dark rooms so uh, in hospitals during many processes like CT scans x-rays MRI fluoroscopy the lead apron is weared by the radiation workers to protect themselves and to protect skin and the internal delicate organs of the radiation workers from those harmful radiations the lead apron size is about approximately 7 pounds and its thickness is about 0.25 mm and it is very important to hang those lead aprons in the hangers after the exposure of radiation and not to fold it because after the folding it may cause some rupturing sites and these rupturing sites may allow the entry of harmful radiations through those sites and may cause to the and may cause harm to the skin and may cause skin cancer so it is very important to be clear about the lead apron so that's all about the lead apron thank you hi this is pranjal upadhyay from impact paramedical and health institute uh, so today my topic is uh, ct scan which is also known as computer tomography refer to a computerized x-ray imaging uh, procedure in which a narrow beam of x-ray is aimed at a patient and quickly rotated around the body producing signals that are processed by the machine's computer to generate cross-sectional images or slices of the body these slices are called tomographic images and contain more detailed information than conventional x-rays when a number of successive slices are collected by the machine's computer, they can be digitally stacked together to form a three-dimensional image of the patient that allow for easier identification and location of basic structure as well as possible tumor or abnormalities. Thank you. Good morning friends, my name is Rahat. I am doing BSc Radiology from IPHI. Here we are going to discuss about the role of radiographer. Firstly, the radiographer is also known as radiographic technologist, red tech, x-ray technician. Now we are going to discuss about the role of radiographer. Radiographer create an image of internal body structures, take care of a radiographic examine room, patient care, produce the diagnostic media and safety and the correct use of diagnostic equipment is also supervised student and assistant. Thank you.